everybody. Welcome back to their brand new video. We have a new release today from Tops.com. It is 2020 Tops mini baseball cards featuring the 2020 Tops design on little cards. And all 1,000 cards are in this monster set. Every card from Series 1, Series 2, and the Tops Update Series. And we're giving away this box right here to one of you guys. All you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment. Just tell me your favorite card in the video. I'll explain a little bit more when we get to that box. I'll pick that winner tomorrow in our live stream. We're breaking 150 of these boxes tomorrow, uh, Sunday night here on the channel. So make sure that you also hit that bell. That's the notifications. You'll get a notification whenever we go live or post a video. So let's go ahead and get started. And uh, we'll take a look at the box. There's 35 cards in each and every box. And the cards you're gonna see are gonna be much smaller than what you're used to seeing. I'm um, kind of thinking they're going to be like those mini cards that Topps made back in 86 through 1990. I used to really like those cards as a kid. They're 25 cents a piece. Uh, there is a chance for autographs in here. Uh, on average, one in every 25 boxes does have an autograph in them. Uh, there's also two inserts per box, three parallels per box, and three base cards per box. So 35 cards per box. And these sell on eBay for... Anywhere between $35 to $50 right now. I think about $40 is the average sold price. Tops had them on their website for, I think, $25.99. And then you had to factor in the shipping uh, and the tax. Probably slightly over $30 from tops.com once all was said and done. So let's go ahead and get started. Dylan's our first contestant up. Thank you very much for watching today on this Saturday, everybody. Hope everybody had a very happy New Year's Day. And... Um, Looking forward to great things in 2021. So as you see inside, we just have one pack of cards. No jewel case in this one like the other ones from uh, Tops.com recently. Let's see what we've got. This is pretty awesome. There's our mini, just like the little cards of, uh, of the uh, late 80s. I used to love those cards as a kid. So those were some of the first cards I ever collected. I'm going to show you the uh, the size differential after we look at our parallels. Remember, there's three parallels per box. And we have some low-numbered ones here. We have an Aaron Judge pink out of 25, 23 of 25. That's a pretty nice one right there. We got a Joe Jimenez out of 10 blue, number six of 10. That is a great number right there. And a Derek Jeter pink out of 25 as well. So you can see three parallel cards in every single pack. And uh, just to show you the size differential, here's a regular card. This is from Bowman Chrome. Take a look at that. Uh, you can see that um, not not a huge differential, but definitely definitely smaller than your regular cards. Really cool stuff, like uh, anything out of the ordinary. So we have Andrew Neiser for Dellen. There's a CJ Crone. I'll show you the backs here in a second. Colin Moran. There's Jerks and Profar. Alex Blandino. Wilson Contreras. Max Muncy. Andres Munoz. We got a Shogo rookie card there, which is pretty cool. Tyler Naquin. We've seen some of our update cards. There's a Derek Jeter from the update set. So the 1,000 cards, like I mentioned before, it's a mixture of all of the different releases of Top Series 1, 2, and update all mixed together in a behemoth 1,000 card set. I'm going to flip them over and show you the numbers here in a second. Ken Griffey Jr., Sam Travis. Here's our, I guess these are our insert cards. It did say there was two insert cards per box. We've got an Al Kaline and Austin Riley. So two 1985 style design cards. These are the backs. You can see we have the update series there. I guess they didn't bother to redo the numbers all the way up to 1,000. They just kept the original numbers on the back. I guess that way they don't have to redo the printing plates or whatever. So some cool stuff right there for Dylan. Congratulations on the three nice parallels there. The Judge and Jeter were pretty nice. Dylan's our first one in the books. Spot number two, and again, we're giving away that eighth and final box to one of you guys. Brian's going to take the next three. He's got the next three in a row. Spots two, three, and four. Best of luck to you, Brian. Let's go ahead and get your boxes down here and move these up. Keep those in the background just for some, I don't know, ambiance or whatever. All right, best of luck to you, Brian. And there are autographs in here. Like I said before, there's uh, one in every 25 boxes. We'll have an autograph in there. So it's not a good chance we find one today. Well, maybe about, uh, I don't know, about a third of a chance of finding an autograph today. 30% chance or so. But uh, when we do our live stream tomorrow, we'll be live tomorrow night doing the rest of these boxes. The max you could order was 150 boxes from Tops. We got an out of 10. Yanni Torinos and then Albert Pujols out of 25. 
and another out of 10 G-Man choice. So all the parallels are low numbered, which is really nice. You got your Cy Young Award winner right there, Trevor Bauer with his buddy Shogo again. We've already seen some of these cards in the last box. Um, the collation here is pretty terrible, at least for that first section. All right, Walker Buehler will check out the inserts card. Hoping we can find a Luis Robert rookie card, which you guys know I'm always all about him. It'd be cool to find one of him. Any of the rookie cards really from Series 1 would be nice as well. Lots of good rookies in that set. We've got a Jackie Robinson 85 and a Noah Syndergaard 85 as our last one. I noticed, noticed no gold foil on the uh, 35th anniversary stamp in this release. So, Brian, you're not done yet. I'm going to keep your parallel set aside to get those sleeved up. I don't have any mini sleeves. Uh, I, I bet you they make them, but I don't have any mini sleeves. So let's just have to go in regular standard card sleeves for you. Here's our next pack for Bry. Spot number, what is this? I guess box three. And we've got box eight set aside for one of you guys. So let's see. We got a Drew Streckenrider out of 25 pink. We've got a Giancarlo Stanton pink from the update set and a blue of Tuki Toussaint out of 10. Now, since these just came out, literally, they showed up at my doorstep about an hour ago. There's the Trent Grisham rookie card. I was like, what is this from Topps? And I thought at first maybe it was my 582 Montgomery Club subscription uh, like package because you get a whole bunch of cool stuff with that. But I was like, wow, I don't even remember ordering ordering these. And yeah, I think we ordered them like a month, over a month ago. There's the Aristides Aquino rookie card. That's a nice one. We'll get that one sleeved up for you, Brian. Aquino, of course, has gone down in value, but I still feel like that one, since it's a mini, we'll just sleeve it up. Never know when he's going to bounce back. Let's see if we can find the Beau Bichette or Jordan Alvarez as well from Series 1. We have a couple minis here of Dale Murphy and a a Eugenio Suarez. So it looks like all the insert cards that they were speaking about on the checklist are going to be 85s, at least right now. Maybe we'll see something different. Here's Brian's third and final box, box number four of the preview video. Pops on demand. By the way, the print run for this, they always release that information. They printed exactly 13,401 of these boxes. So you can tell how rare your uh, cards are. That's uh, it's not too bad. So we have a Matt Barnes out of 10. We've got an out of five, and I'm guessing we're going to find some one of ones with so many boxes uh, being made thousand different cards i bet you we find some one of ones in our last room here's one out of five an oakland ace team card that's a beautiful card right there and there's john carlos stanton out of 25 for brian all right so let's finish off the rest of your run here and see if we can find you some nice rookies in the base cards there's a zach gallon rookie card i like that one i bet the marlins would like to have him back diamondbacks definitely glad to have him he had a great season in 2020 dustin garneau tommy Con canley there's Jake Lamb, Josh Fegley. Hey, two Josh Fegleys. What? That's pretty awesome. Josh Fegley and Josh Fegley. One of them from the Update series, I think. Future stars Oscar Mercado. There's Frankie Lindor and Masahiro Tanaka for Brian. So, Brian, thank you very much. Congrats. You've got the lowest numbered card so far, the out of five. Oakland A's team card. Too bad it wasn't a, a Luis Robert or something like that, but still pretty awesome. All right, next up, spot number five. This one is going to James Werderman and Jennifer. Thanks, guys. Let's see what we can find for you in your mini box. Uh, looks like I didn't cut that one quite good enough. This uh, blade is getting a little dull on here. But one of the, uh, I talked about it before, one of the, my favorite sets from the 80s, I started collecting cards in 89, and one of my fond memories was going into Hill's Department Store here in Pennsylvania, and... Looking at the mini packs, uh, top, 1989 Topps Minis, uh, they were 25 cents a pack, and you could literally see the last card on the back of each pack. So I remember my brother and I would always look for Pirates. There's a Ty Buttry out of 25, Julio Tehran out of 10, and a roll reversal card, Frankie Lindor uh, with Glaber Day turning two on him. All right, so there's Kyle Ryan, Pete Alonso. I'm going to have to relearn the collation here for some of these. Sometimes there would be like a card that would give way to a, a big hit. Um, let's see what we've got. Mike Yastrzemski, not too bad. Nick Solak, rookie debut card from the update set. 
Your insert cards will be on the back. They're going to be those 85 ones again. So we've got ourselves an Austin Meadows and a Cindergard there. So James, congrats on the parallels. Best card in there, probably the Tuki Tucson out of 10. All right, next up, we've got Jacob O. These will be the last two boxes we do, and then I'll talk a little bit about how you can get this box. I will leave it unopened for you guys to uh, claim, and then you can do what you want with it. You can sell it on eBay for 45 bucks or whatever. You can open it up, and hopefully you find a one-of-one one or an autograph. It'll be up to you. By the way, speaking of winners, before I get to uh, any farther and forget, I brought this list down. Uh, from the pen box yesterday, here are all of the winners. I already contacted all of you. I sent you guys a message directly through YouTube. Uh, there's your name, how long you've been subscribed, and the card that you won. That's from the pen box. So if you didn't get a direct message from me on YouTube, or if I didn't reply to your comment that you'd won, I'm sorry, but you didn't win in that pen box. But I do plan on giving away more stuff this year. Uh, the 80K stuff, by the way, that we did a couple days ago, I have half of those cards packaged up, so... Those will be going out soon, and I'll do a quick little video rundown for you to show you all of those and so you can see that your envelope has been stamped and is ready to go and all that good stuff. So, Jacob, here we go. We have an out of five for you off the top. A five of five, Freddy Peralta, which is not too shabby. Congratulations on that one. There's a Yuli Gurriel out of 25 pink. And future Hall of Famer, Miguel Cabrera. That one's out of 10. Eight out of 10 for the Miggy. Let's check the rest of these out. There's Matt Strom. Shout out to him. He's a pretty cool dude. Like his uh, Strom Stadium pools. Awesome stuff over there. Nick Solak. Rookie card. Chris Paddock. Future Stars card. Carlos Carrasco. Terrence Gore. Jason Kipnis. Tony Walters. And here comes the stuff at the end. It's going to be an 85 Chris Bryant and an 85 Randy Johnson. Nice stuff. I guess next year we have uh, 86 uh, design to look forward to. It'll be pretty nice. So, Jacob, I'll just put your cards right here, a little bit off camera. And you got one more box. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you guys had a great Friday and Saturday. And I hope you have a great day tomorrow for Sunday and can check us out in our live stream. I'll probably start that, oh, I don't know, maybe around... 8 p.m. or so Eastern Time. I'm unsure, so make sure you hit that bell so that whenever we do go live, you get a notification. I'll try to open up the room ahead of time, so there's plenty of time for you to know when we're going to start. This is different. I feel like in the past six boxes, the 85 cards have been on back. I don't see any 85 cards in this one. Jacob, that's weird. That might be good for you. Let's see. So, starting off, we have a Kyle Lewis. It's out of 25, which is pretty cool. Nice low number there. A Reggie Jackson out of 25. And a good one there. Jesus Lusardo, rookie card out of 10. That's a very decent card. And another Kyle Lewis. So, Jacob, your first box was average. This box, so far, pretty darn good. Congratulations on that. You also have a Aristides Aquino as well. So, I might as well just start tossing all these in the sleeve pile for you. Let's check out the rest of your box, and then we will wrap it up here. I'll talk a little bit about how you get that box for free, one of you guys. And uh, then we will hopefully see you tomorrow. Tommy Pham, Danny Jansen, Dal Lugo, Adam Duvall, there's Goldie, and the last card there is Jean Carlos. So, yep, they did not give you your uh, two insert cards, which kind of stinks, but they gave you some pretty decent numbered parallel cards, which is pretty good so here's the last box i don't know maybe this will have an autograph like i said one in 25 boxes have autographs you'll you'll see uh nice three parallel cards in each box uh if you'd like to get this box again make sure you subscribe to my channel hit that red subscribe button make sure you like this video and leave a comment just tell me your favorite card for me i don't know i think i might have to go with uh the jesus lusardo out of 10 personally but uh, to be subscribed, you have to open up a browser. So if you're on your phone, go to Safari or whatever uh, browser you use. Go to YouTube, sign in. There'll be a little avatar there. Like for me, it would be my picture with uh, two of my kids at the, the lake or whatever. I'd click on that. It's going to bring down a drop-down list. Click on Settings. It'll take you to your settings page. Click on Privacy, which will probably be over here. And then it'll say something like Keep Your Subscriptions Private. Toggle that off. So that's how you make yourself publicly subscribed. Because I want to make sure that this goes to a subscriber and uh, not just you know, somebody that just is happening by that doesn't always support the channel. So for all of you guys that are subscribed, I really appreciate it. And for all of you that, uh, all of you that are not yet subscribed, uh, I hope that you eventually will. 
I hope you guys have a great rest of your Saturday evening, and I will see you all tomorrow in the live stream. 150 boxes of these Topps Minis. Hopefully, we can find some great autographs and lots of other great stuff in there. So have a great rest of your weekend, and I will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.